by the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of the 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, we are back uh, with another edition of Quick Hits. Uh, we come at you twice a day, every day, two episodes a day. This will be the first. We'll come back a little later tonight before I go to bed uh, with a second episode of Quick Hits. Uh, but before we get into it, uh, please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Um, if you're looking to be kept up to date on all the latest boxing news and rumors, uh, like I said, we come at you twice a day. We keep you up to date real quick uh, so you can be on your way and be kept up to date. But breaking news out of the boxing world today, just recently, Jake Donovan from the boxing scene reported it is official. Gary Russell Jr. and Ray Vargas agree to terms. Y'all want to see what, the, what one-way traffic looks like? It's going to look like this. Um, like, it's a good fight. Uh, I mean, namesake-wise, it's two names. Um, still in their prime, relatively speaking. Uh, Vargas had a car accident, I believe, and he broke his leg, and he was out for a while and became a champion in recess at 122, and now he's moving up to 126. Um, and then Gary Russell Jr. is one of the most skilled fighters in the world. He's the longest reigning champion um, in the sport. Uh, largely because he is uniquely skilled. I think he's got the overall best skill set in the sport. And also because, uh, well, he only fights once a year. And uh, he really only takes mandatories. Um, <laughs> it, it is what it is. Um, but you know, if you've listened to this show or, or MCR podcast, um, you know how good I, I think Gary Russell Jr. is. Um He's he he's got it all. He's got the silent pull, the speed, the slicks, the skills, the boxing ability. He's got a tremendous jab. His power is really really good. Like he's underrated. He, he doesn't really look to knock people out, but he's got a ton of snap on his punches. Um, he, like he's as close to a perfect fighter as, as there is kind of right now. Um, I guess the only downside with Gary Russell Jr. is that he only fights once a year. That's it. That, I mean that, that's. I mean, I don't know if eventually, sooner or later, that catches up to you. Uh, but he's got to fight more often. Um, I mean, he doesn't have to. He can do what he wants. But I don't see how he gets to his maximum potential, right? Like, he's got old world, first bout, Hall of Fame skills. Does he get there? You know, I don't know. You know, like, he's 32. I mean... He is 32, he's only 32, so he could change it around real quick. Um, but he hasn't really been fighting the best, I mean, he doesn't fight the best guys out there. He's, that's not his, <laughs> that's not his style. Um, Ray Vargas is another guy, he's a tall, lean Mexican who throws a zillion punches. Uh, not a lot of pop on his, on his shots, he wears you down, breaks you down with volume. Never really uses his size, what he is is... What he is that's practical is long. He can cut off the ring on you, and you know because he is so long. Um, but I, I don't see him having much success over with Gary Russell Jr. Um, if Gary Russell Jr. really wants to step on the gas and get Ray Vargas out of there, he should be able to do that. He's a much more skilled, much more complete fighter. I don't, and he's the big hitter. Like he does everything better except for pressure you than Ray Vargas does. So he should be able to avoid Ray Vargas' pressure largely and, and outclass him um, and make this... I, I think he can stop him. I think it's going to be, you know, it's going to be how much punishment will Ray Vargas want to take and how much will the corner and the ref allow him to take. I think it's going to be that kind of beat that. I don't see how Gary Russell Jr. is really... I mean, I don't see how Ray Vargas is really competitive in this fight. Um, he's not going to have the massive size advantage. You know, he's, th there's no advantage that he really has in this fight. And then, and he's fighting a guy who's tremendously skilled like Gary Russell Jr. Um, Russell Jr.'s only loss is, is, uh, um, Lomachenko years ago. 
uh, in a fight that, you know, he had weight problems making weight. He thought, you know, he was on weight and then the scale was wrong. He had to lose five pounds in like two hours or something crazy like that. And he did it. Um, but take that away. Put that to the side. Every other fight, he's nearly perfect. I mean, he, he, he outclassed Jojo Diaz. He outclassed Nyan Bar. He, I mean, um, King Tug. Kiko Mark, not, these are good fighters, but they don't really, like, it's like Roy Jones thing. They say that nobody, he just makes them look like nobody's. I mean, that Jojo Diaz win, in retrospect, is a really good win. Um, especially out 126, because that guy's huge, right? Like, Jojo Diaz at 126 is a better threat than Ray Vargas, and look what he did to Jojo Diaz. Um, I, I think Russell Jr. is off the chart skills. Um, and I, I like, I just hope we get to see the best of him because he's not active. He doesn't fight much. But this is exciting news. It's always exciting to have Russell back, especially against a credible opponent, right? But I just think this skill set and what they can do and how they can go through the gears, I don't see how Ray Vargas is in this fight. Like, I, I'm going to make an official prediction. I'm going to say Gary Russell Jr. Unofficial prediction, I should say. Unofficial prediction. I'm going to say Gary Russell Jr. gets rid of him in 10 rounds. I think he, it's an onslaught. He, he beats him down. He's in front of him. And he's not backing down, right? Like, Vargas isn't going to back down, which ultimately leads to his destruction, his, his you know, his demise. And I think after 10 rounds, he gets a stoppage um, where Gary Russell's basically dominated the entire fight. Uh, but let me know what you think. Do you guys think this is one-sided? I know some people think this is a great fight. I, I think this is, hey, do you guys want to see what one-way traffic looks like? I think it's that one-sided. Um, but leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, again, uh, remember to subscribe, all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, hit the bell icon so you get notifications of every time uh, we go live and drop a new show. Um, it is March 8th. 2021. Uh, Ivan Calderon is still not in the boxing hall of fame. Let's make that change. Uh, let's get the Iron Boy in the class of 2021. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.